Hello everybody, welcome into The Truths here, I'm Joey The Truth Wagner with you. It's that time of year again folks, baseball season. Tomorrow, opening day of the 2019 Major League Baseball campaign, which means it's time for me to give you my season predictions about the Pittsburgh Pirates this year. Anyway, before I begin with it being baseball season, there's a lot of baseball games every year, folks. 162 games. 81 at home, 81 on the road. And I guarantee that if you're a Bucko fan or any baseball fan, you like going to some of the games like I do. And if you like going to the games, and you want to get a good deal on your tickets, use SeatGeek. Use the code Joey Wagner, J-O-E-Y, W-A-G-N-E-R. Use that code You'll get $20 off your first order on SeatGeek. Now it's time for the 2019 Pittsburgh Pirates season preview show. Well, friends, before we look at this upcoming year, let's take a quick look back at last season, the 2018 season for the Buccos. They traded Andrew McCutcheon. They traded Garrett Cole. They slashed payroll. And they weren't terrible. They were actually... Okay. Actually, a little bit better than okay. They had a winning season. They won 82 games. They were in the fringe of contention into August. Had an 11-game winning streak in July. Acquired Chris Archer and Keone Kella in trades. Was a very surprising year for the Bucs in a good way. And because they were decent last year, we all have high hopes here in 2019. Now it is time for the key players that will lead this Bucko club. Well, folks, the Pittsburgh Pirates, they're not a team based on one superstar and a bunch of guys. The Pirates are a collective team where they need everyone to do their job and do it well and probably have a career year in order to have the maximum success possible. Anyway, there are a good bit of key players for the Pirates this year. First of all, I'll begin with their outfield. Offensively, the Pirates are going to rely on their outfielders. So Corey Dickerson is going to be key. Batted over 300 last year, won a gold glove would be key if he did that again. The all-around star, center fielder Starlin Marte. Pirates need him at his best. And when he comes back healthy, Gregory Polanco will be key as well. But folks, for this team to do well, it's going to be because of pitching. And specifically two spots. The starting rotation. Jamison Tyone. Chris Archer, Trevor Williams, Joe Musgrove. Those are the core four. Those are the big four guys that the Pirates are going to use to win games this year and be competitive, and they'll be the reason why they're a playoff team. And I'm not talking just about the big four in the starting rotation. The Bucks have big four in the bullpen, too. Closer Felipe Vasquez and three Excellent setup men, Keone Kella, Kyle Crick, and Richard Rodriguez. Those are the key guys this year for the Bucks. They're outfielders, they're starting rotation, and the back end of their bullpen. That'll be how this ball club wins games this year. And if that if those parts of the club do well, they'll be fine. Now it's time for the biggest questions on the Buccos this year. And everybody, here are the biggest questions for the Pirates this year. Shortstop Eric Gonzalez, fifth starting pitcher Jordan Lyles, and third baseman Jung Ho Gung. And for the first two of those reasons, the first two, the reason why they're question marks is because of payroll. Come on, Bob. Come on, Neil. Come on, Frank. $69 million payroll? Really? 
really that that's the best you guys could do? You couldn't go out and get a real short stop. I mean, Jose Iglesias was on the market. Freddy Galvez was on the market. You couldn't get a real number five starting pitcher like Gio Gonzalez, who was who was on a minor league deal. And I don't know, Dallas Keuchel's still out there. He'd be pretty good too. But I I I mean. If the Pirates would have spent real money on a shortstop and a fifth starting pitcher, this team would be no doubt in my mind a playoff team. No doubt. But instead, they went the $69 million way. And of course, Jung Ho Gung is a wild card. Will he be able to be Jung Ho of 2015 and 2016 when he played great? We'll have to find out. He had a decent spring. I hope he is, but complete question mark there. Now, folks, it's time for my season record prediction. Friends, I really like this Pirate Ball Club. There's a lot of good young talent on it. Everywhere I look, for the most part, except for shortstop, they're either average or above average. Right now, I see them being below average at shortstop. But everywhere else, they're either above average or average. Outfield, above average. Third base, average at worst. Second base, above average with Frazier. First base, slightly above average with Josh Bell. Catchers, way above average. Starting rotation, way above average. The best in the, in the, in the d division. In top ten in baseball. Back end of the bullpen, excellent. There's a lot to like about this Pirate team. That's why I'm picking them to win 88 games this year. They'll be a wild card spot. And to our heart's desire, Bucktober, baby. Bucktober going to return. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this season preview video of your Pirates. I have them going 88 and 74 this year, making the playoffs. Big years from the outfielders. Big years from the top four in the rotation. Back in the bullpen, going to be just fine. And hopefully Mitch Keller makes the leap to the big leagues and does a Garrett Cole in 2013. And the Buccos will be just fine. As always, folks, don't forget to click that like button on the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And please, in the comments section, how do you think the Pirates are going to do this year? Leave your thoughts. From the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off. Thank you for watching. And as always... Light that BB up and fire the cannons.